know, being undrafted wasn't the greatest thing. It was very disappointing, and you know, I kind of took it as a realization that I, you know, had to, you know, continue to grow and get better, and you know, keep working on my game. I returned to my junior team. Um, it was the Brampton Battalion in the Ontario Hockey League. You talk to your junior coach, and he he speaks to, you know, scouts, and you know, they all kind of said the same thing that. Um, my skating needs to be better, so that's been you know an area of my game that I put a lot of work into. I still still work on it every summer, so that work I put in kind of allowed me to quicker guy on the ice and help me get around. And um, you know, eventually, I think they saw it. I could uh, you know compete at this level. For my first year pro, made the Sharks out of training camp. Spent the whole year in the NHL, and then it was about 15 or so games into uh, into my second pro season where. I got sent down, which I think was kind of the best best thing for my career. I think in the moment it, it kind of hurts to hear, but you know I kind of took a step back and, and looked myself in the mirror and realized that I needed to get better. I, I needed to keep uh, keep developing my game, and you know eventually when, when I did make it back, I, you know, I was a much better player with the mindset that that I belong and that I can kind of make a difference on the ice. You know, went from being uh, an undrafted guy to. You know, being a guy that you know a cup contender was looking at to, to add, and that felt great, honestly. Um, you know, to to just know that teams want you and they think you can help uh, contribute to a team that had the capabilities of, of winning the cup. So, um, you know, to go there was it, it was awesome, and only got to play I think eight or ten games before the season got shut down. Obviously, you know, we know what happened when when the bubble got started. Every other team I've I've been on, it's been you know, a lot of veteran players where you know I necessarily wasn't leaned on to to be a leader. It took a little bit of time to, to just adjust to the whole dynamic of you know not only needs to be you know consistent every night, but needs to you know set an example for for the younger players. And this league can be kind of you know difficult sometimes. There's lots of lots of highs and lows throughout a year. So I learned pretty early on that you need to take things as they come. It's easy to get you know, very, very high in moments or very down in other moments. So staying uh, even keel, you know, trying to pace yourself for a full 82 games is it's pretty important. Barkley Goodrow got the offense going. You were talking to you know, that person back then um, and you told them you're going to win two cups, you're going to be on the Rangers, you're going to be in a leadership group, like this is what's going to happen down the line. Just what would you have thought back at that point? Like, what would you tell yourself? <laughs> you're lying. <laughs> like, that's not going to happen. Um, it's something you obviously dream of. You know, not only you know you dream of making the NHL. It's being a kid from Canada. It's, you watch you know Hockey Night Canada every Saturday. You, my dad and I would show up early to you know, all of our Saturday morning practices. You know, we get there at 6 a.m. and no one's on the ice. And you know, you just love the game. It was always always a dream of mine to make it into the league. It's something that seems so far away and something that's you know when you look at. You know, 15 years down the line, it's, it's like, you know, could I really get there? But it takes a lot of time, a lot of, a lot of effort, a lot of perseverance, a lot of just growing throughout the years, and you know, all that's kind of led me to this point. And um, I think the, the younger me would probably be pretty proud of, uh, you know, who I am and how I got here.